Do you want to have a business or do you want to have a hobby? I'm Terry Carter, and I've been thinking about, I like this idea. I've been thinking about how to present this notion to you. And I don't want to offend anybody, although I, every time you say that, you're always going to offend somebody. But this is, my, this is the way I'm thinking. Do you want to have a business? What does that mean? Okay. Do you want to have a business? Do you want a business that you have a team, a business that is growing and scaling each year? Or do you want to have a hobby? And my dad brought up this point years ago, and this is still a struggle when you have your own businesses, <laughs> multiple businesses, and you're doing a bunch of stuff. Is what happens if something goes wrong with you? You get sick. Maybe you even pass away. Heaven forbid, I know that's a terrible thing to say, but what happens if you go down basically where you can't do everything because you're a solopreneur or you're treating what you're doing as a hobby and you're not running it like a business? The whole operation shuts down. How many of you are, are like that? I mean, leave a comment below. I mean, even to some extent, my business are like that, although I'm trying to get them where they will operate even if I'm not there. Right? And that's a hard thing to do. And it's hard for us to let go of things that we've built, whether it's like a personal, uh, like our YouTube channel or our social media stuff, or we're selling some stuff. I don't know, maybe we're selling on, on Reverb or Etsy, or maybe you have even your own store, but you're doing it all yourself. Yeah, you're dealing with orders, you're dealing with customers, you're packing everything, you're making the product or ordering the product or whatever it is, you're doing everything. All right. And so this is what I mean by, do you want to have a business or do you want to have, I'm just a hobby. <laughs> I'm just calling it a hobby because I've realized that in order to scale, in order to grow, to get bigger, and by doing that, you're serving more people. You're helping out more people. I can only do so much myself. And I know, learn from my mistakes. I used to do everything myself, everything for the business. I look back, it's almost crazy. I mean, I used to do all the videos. I used to edit all the videos. I used to post all the videos. I used to do all the emails to customers. I used to do all the customer support, which is just email at the time. I would create all the courses. I would load all the courses. I would do all of the marketing for all the courses as well. I was doing everything myself. And guess what? A couple of things happened. One, I didn't have enough time. Two, I was not able to scale. I couldn't scale. I couldn't get bigger because I only had so much time. So I couldn't create a course every week or every month or every couple of months. I could have to create maybe one or two courses a year because it took so much time for me to do anything. And it wasn't until I gave up some control. The first thing I did was um, hire a video editor. And that was a, man, that was a big step. That was a hard step. I like my videos edited a certain way. And when other people edit them, if they don't do it my way, then man, it's gonna take me more time to fix that video than if I would have done it myself. That was a philosophy. That was a terrible philosophy to have, all right? You can train people. You can show people how you like things edited, if that's the case. But it's about re releasing control. And the only re reason I was able to scale my businesses, which I'm still scaling, by the way, this is a, a never ending process. Not like you hit a certain number in sales. And then it's like, okay, I'm done now. No, that's, you, you hit a plateau, boom, you're great, but now you gotta keep going. You wanna hire more people. You wanna have more product. You wanna have more customers. You wanna serve more, okay? You wanna grow, you wanna get bigger and bigger, but this is a mentality of uh, running a business versus having a hobby, right? You can make money with your hobby, right? You can make money selling products. You can make money on your YouTube videos, your Instagram, stuff like that. But is it a business? Is it sustainable? Is it able to grow? Is it able to scale? That's the question you wanna ask because for me, what my business are is I wanna bring on more team people, members, I wanna have more people doing more stuff for me. I'm not able to do everything I can do from youcollectthepros.com to store.youcollectthepros.com to my Rock Like The Pros stuff, to my Terry Carter stuff, to my multifamily real estate investing. I can't do all those things if I do it all myself because it's literally impossible. And all of those are businesses. Okay, they're not hobbies of mine. They're businesses that are creating cash flow, that are helping people, that are actually helping even my employees because it's giving them a living and it's allowing them to not only live, but even help their families as well live. So you're doing a bunch of things. So are you running a business or are you doing a hobby? That's something you have to figure out yourself. Determine what you want. Okay, I think a lot of people think too small. 
oh, if I just have that that little shop in the strip mall and I'm able to pay my bills each month and I pay my 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 mortgage or rent, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm happy. All right. If that's what you want, that's fine. That's not what I want. I think that's small thinking. I think we can think bigger. Why not be the biggest store? Why not be the biggest whatever it is that you're doing? Why not be the number one brand that's out there in your field? Why limit yourself? So anyway, are you a business? Are you a hobby? All right, drop that in the comments below. Think bigger, act bigger, and you can be bigger. So I'm Terry Carter. I have a bunch of stuff, terrycarter.com. We got courses, stuff like that. I mentioned I do real estate investing as well. You can find out information over there as well. If you just like my my other products, my musical stuff, you collect the pros, the store that you collect the pros, rock collect the pros, that stuff is there as well. But anyway, I hope you got something out of this. Hope we can open up your mind a little bit. Think bigger and can be bigger. Okay, so I appreciate it again. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the comments as well. And I want to connect with you more. Check it out over at terrycarter.com.